this is Nick with logosbynick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this double exposure effect using GIMP and if you'd like to update GIMP's appearance with these icons I'll have a link to that information in the description of the video and I will also have links to both images that I'll be using for the tutorial if you'd like to follow along with what I'm doing so the first thing I'm going to do is open up the image of the model here I'm going to right click that and open it with GIMP And there we have our image. The first thing we want to do is separate the image, separate the subject from the background there. So what I'll do first is I'll right click on the layer here and I'll add an alpha channel. And then I'm going to grab the, uh, the fuzzy select tool, which is up here. And I'm going to click on this white space right here and it's going to put a selection around all of this white space over here. And then I'll just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. If you're using Mac, you can go to edit, clear. And what you've noticed now is that we've deleted out the part of that background. I'm just going to zoom in over this and delete out some of this white, these, these white edges as, as well. So I'll hold control and roll up the mouse wheel. I'll just click on that, press delete, or again, edit clear if you're using Mac. And that is looking, I think that looks all right. It could be better, but I'm not going to be uh, too uh, meticulous with this for this tutorial because I don't want it to be too long. If you'd like, you could even use like the paths tool to crop that out nice and clean. So I'll come over here and do the same thing on this side. Click on that, clear it out by pressing delete. And uh, okay, I'd say that looks pretty good. What I'll do now is I'll just deselect everything by going to select none. And now I'm going to add a new background. I'm going to add a new layer here to use as a background. So I'll click on this button over here that says add, uh, create a new layer and add it to the image. Click on that. And I want to choose layer fill type. I want white selected here and go ahead and click OK. And then I'll click and drag this beneath the model image so that we have a background behind it. And what I'll do now is I'm going to click on this model image. I'm going to right click that and go to um, alpha to selection. And then I'm going to turn off the visibility of that temporarily. And now what I'll do is I'll click on this layer here and I'll go to select. No, I'll go to edit clear. And it's going to punch out a hole in the shape of the silhouette of the model, the model's uh, head there. So what I'm going to do now is add in the background image. So I'll go back to where I downloaded that file and just click and drag that into GIMP. And there we have the image, but we want to lower it beneath. We want to send it to the very bottom of the layer order. And we have that there now. Let's deselect everything by going to select none. And then we'll click on the model image. We'll turn the visibility of that back on, but we'll change the mode to multiply and you're going to start to notice some of the image coming through there and what I'm noticing here is that like the tree image is covering up part of like her mouth and her nose and if you notice in the thumbnail I'd like part of that to be visible for the effect to really work so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the visibility of that layer temporarily I'll come back to the fog image here and I want to select the uh, the flip the, 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 uh, the flip tool and choose horizontal and just go ahead and click on that to flip it horizontally and I'll go back up to the model layer, turn on the visibility, and that looks pretty good. So what I want to do now is we notice we have some of the tree images showing through, but not, but not enough. So what I'm going to do is go to Colors, Desaturate, and click OK to get rid of the color. And that helped a little bit, but not entirely. So what I want to do now is bring out some more of the whites, because the white, the white area is where the image is showing through the most. So I'll go to Colors, um, Curves. And I'm going to take this node up here in the top right and bring that to the left to bring out some more of the whites. Maybe a little more like that. And that looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and click OK. And what I'll do now is uh, I'm going to grab the eraser tool, which is right here. For the brush, I want to use the softest brush there is, hardness 0 0.25 or 0 0.25. And I'll make the size of this about 553 or however big however big it needs to be, depending on which size image you downloaded. And I'll just go ahead and erase some of this out. I'll erase out the hair and the ear and this down here. And I'll erase out this up here so that we're left with just this up here. And what I could, what I could do now is I could take the opacity of that and bring that down a little bit. And if you want an even more, um, if you want to add even more to this, what we could do is we can go to the layer right here, the, the white layer and bring the opacity of that down a little bit so that some of the trees show through that white layer, but not to the point where it's not, not too visible. So uh, I'd say right there is pretty good. 
And that should do it for this tutorial. That's how you can create a double exposure effect using GIMP. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank you.